Hey everybody, welcome back. Glad you're here and I'm super excited for this one. Um, this is Evergrey we're going to listen to and we're going to check out a song from their brand new album released this year, Escape of the Phoenix. Um, we're going to check out uh, Eternal Nocturnal. And uh, let's get right into it because I'm really excited for this one. Let's check it out. Eternal Nocturnal. Oh.
Nice. I love that. That was really good. Um, that singer, I, I know I've already said it before, and, and when I've listened to his uh, his song, these uh, Evergrey songs, I love his voice. He just reminds me of uh, of a classic rock singer, you know, from like the 70s or something. He's just got that just, just classic rock voice. Um, and uh, I like the... I like the drums where doing the, the double bass, you know, but then during the chorus, he goes just to like a regular beat. And um, but what's cool about him kind of backing off on the double bass and just doing a regular beat during the chorus is that chorus was just like so full. It was just like a wall of sound just coming, just a whole wall of sound coming at you, you know, Um and with the guitars and the bass and just a real strong rock beat, you know, it was and it was it, the drums sounded great, too. They were real present. And I love that um, when the drums are present. And then um, I love the uh, I love the keyboard, too, that, you know, it wasn't it wasn't overtly like present, but it was there giving uh, given its, um, it, uh, you know, uh, um, what am I trying to say? It's kind of helping that wall of sound you know um sort of fill that space but but you know distinct distinctively with that keyboard i like that i love keyboards i've already mentioned that a bunch of times on this channel but i love keyboards um um but dang the leads uh, were super good uh, is there just one lead player or is there two because because that lead was just cranking and then they modulated and then it sounded like, you know, a different tone, uh, you know, w started happening there for a little while. Uh, and then it sounded like it, even though it stayed in that same modulated uh, space, it, it then it sounded like the other, the first guitar again. So I don't know if there's double, um, if there's two lead guitar players in this band or if it's just one. Um, either way, they were both, the, the whole, the lead was just phenomenal. It was it was really fast, but, you know, very technical and, and just very proficient. Um, all in all, a great song. It just felt like a good freaking rock and roll song to me, you know, with with sort of elements of metal and, uh, uh, you know, um, I don't know, with the with the double bass, it kind of it throws it into another level. It gives it another level of metal, you know, um, there's so many different types. I, I don't even know. But um, really good, though. Um, so, yeah, this one was their um, their Escape of the Phoenix. It seems like I've seen this. Did I do another song from this album? Um, let's see. Written by Henrik Danage. Uh, probably everybody. Ricard Zander, Thomas England, uh, Jonas Ekdahl, and um, Jonah, or no, J what is that? John, Jona, John, John, J O H A N, Johan, jo Johan, probably, yeah, Johan, sorry, uh, Neiman. So that's probably all of the band players, huh? And they're just taking uh, all the writer credits. That's awesome. I love that. I love that so much. So cool. Great rock song, though, man. Love that. It sounded really good. It was just, it sounded fresh. You know, very great elements all throughout that song. Super good. All right. Ever, ever gray. I like it. Man, those guys are good. All right, well, I'm going to let you go on this one, and we will see you guys down in the comments and in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and uh, all that stuff. And if you're interested in helping the channel out, please do. It's down in the description. You'll find all kinds of ways to do that. Have fun down there. All right, we will see you in the comments and next video. Talk to you later. Bye.